At Audiology Associates of Prestonsburg, you can live your life the way you want and find the freedom of better hearing. You'll experience patient care that is specific to you with exceptional follow-up care that ensures your hearing and balance needs are being met. Audiology Associates at 1428 North Lake Drive in Prestonsburg. Wednesday, July 6th, Governor Andy Bashir announced over $2.3 million in investments for Pike County. The investments will help improve the quality of life, provide clean drinking water, and improve recreational opportunities in the region. Now, I think we've been here a couple times, Ray, but I don't know we've ever announced $2.3 million. Close. So today is going to be a good day. <laughs> These investments reflect how much Team Kentucky believes in Pike County and how important we know it is to support you and all parts of this community and to support those that are working to make this community better. Listen, none of these ideas started in Frankfurt. They all started here. This is our partnership because we know that you know the best ways to serve your community and have been wanting to do some of these projects for a long time. I know both the General Assembly and I are uh, so grateful that we have the funding to step up and help. help. Various grants were presented at the press conference, which will be used to enhance the recreational area at Brake Center State Park, improve pedestrian safety in Pikeville, provide clean drinking water to 125 homes in the Brushy Creek Sycamore area, and resurface the multi-use trail at Bob Amos Park. In addition, the Pikeville Senior Citizen Center was granted $1 million from the Community Development Block Grant for the construction of a new senior center. In reality, the Pikeville Center's attendance helps fund every other center. And when we started looking at the cost to retrofit a building at Bob Amos, it was cost pro prohibitive. Uh, we looked at every option, and clearly the best option was to tear down and, and build back. But when you're looking at about a million three to tear it down and build it back, that's hard to come up with for pretty much any eastern Kentucky county with a declining coal service tax. And this is not the first structural problems that we've had with that building. They, they've had problems back 20 years ago, they had to make some changes to it. So Governor Bashir, what you've done in helping fund the construction of a new Pikeville Senior Citizen Center will guarantee that every Senior Citizen Center that we have in Pike County continues to remain open. Continue to follow Mountaintop News for the latest updates. For Mountaintop News, I'm Brianna Robinson.